How's it going guys? This is Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So this video is going to be like how Rio survives New Year's and random video where I basically talk about what I do on New Year's and you guys know Tokyo, Japan, like during New Year's 100% of the shops except for convenience stores is shut down and in most cases it's a time where we're mostly with our families and friends and we'll have a good time together and maybe go to a temple to pray to the gods that this year will be better than last year because last year was hectic. But you guys know I'm a guy that likes to be alone and these temples get super crowded and I don't like to be along with a lot of people <laughs> and you guys know that. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about what I want to, what I do during on this specific day. And in my case, I sort of like start my day sort of like brewing coffee actually in the morning actually and I basically buy my coffee beans at Takaido coffee beans shop Takaido which I made a lot of videos on that's my go-to coffee shop and on this day actually after brewing coffee and drinking and soaking in the sunlight actually I basically have this sort of like ritual going on where I basically sort of like modify my desktop computer and this is sort of like becoming sort of like a ritual due to the fact that I mostly have only time during the holiday season, during winter and spring break, which I have sort of like extended period of like t free time to sort of like sort of do these minor upgrades and t and anything other than that, I'm busy most of the time. So the only time I can basically update my PC, desktop PC that I built is during the winter seasons. And I've and been doing this for like a couple of years or so. So this year, unfortunately, I did not do major upgrades, but my sister will say it is a major upgrade. A lot of things happened. Basically, my graphics card got destroyed during the process because I realized I rendered 100 videos or so for my YouTube channel for a couple of years. And also my sort of like PC case got destroyed. I my chair accidentally hit the side panel and the white call on and off went flying out and I kind of destroyed my computer case and three was that uh, I was, was sort of like interested in a company called deep cool actually which this video is not being sponsored unfortunately but they were they're sort of becoming like Sony in the camera industry how they sort of destroyed the DSLR and made mirrorless affordable and sort of like widespread in the PC department, Deep Cool is doing this exactly the same in the PC compartment where they're like making these affordable and usable PC components, high quality and made in China, unfortunately, but they do really well and I thought it would be great to test them out. And yeah, and it took me roughly six hours to sort of like dismantle my PC and overhaul it and put it in the new PC and my friend in Canada said that's weak bro you could do better you could do it in three hours and i said screw you kind of so. <laughs> so i'm not that of a techie but because i built my pc i'm used to it and this is what i do every year or so and yeah and this year like i said i swapped out those components and i never touched the the processor and the motherboard for this year i never like upgraded those two components I might next year but this year I realized that this is sort of the, the niche as 2022 and I got my I, like job done of making videos and also editing photos without any problems so I'm going with the system and basically like I said I swapped out the graphics card the case and the intake fan CPU fan and yeah that's basically what I did sort of like spec if you're interested what it look like this actually and basically our left is before and the right is after and I went from AMD's graphics card to NVIDIA's I don't know if this is gonna work or not but right now it's working fine and I, I don't have any trouble and yeah as, and I actually went for the aesthetics unfortunately and yeah pats on my back <laughs> RGB ARGB looks really nice so after six hours have passed, after belt rebuilding my PC, I went to Coffee Beans Takaido, which I typically go to. And during this time, they were selling, oh my goodness, Panama's La Esmeralda Geisha, which is the pinnacle of coffee. And typically if you go to a coffee shop, majority of places 
in Tokyo don't have it. Only the selected places have it. And although the beans were really expensive, I couldn't afford it. Unfortunately, one cup was roughly six dollars, which was really affordable. And typically, one cup would cost roughly ten dollars or maybe twelve dollars in Tokyo. And I just like the owner of being giving sharing his like joy of like spreading the knowledge of coffee to the public at affordable prices and yeah had a great time actually sipping coffee <laughs> okay, after basically drink coffee at that coffee stall i came home and this time around i wanted to sort of like organize my sort of like film negatives and i think one year ago i talked about a tape labeling machine called king jim tepera light that machine had issues and the issues was that I, this year, I basically sort of like changed my smartphone from a, what was it, a Xiaomi's like smartphone to a Google Pixel 6a. And after I swapped out, that, I mean, the smartphone has like no issues, but the software, the King Gems software or application apps did not connect really well. The Bluetooth connection was working, but the application wasn't working and I was not able to like function the tape sort of like a labeling machine and kind of threw me off unfortunately and I had to like sell the King Gem. It wasn't broken so I was able to like sell it and sort of like purchase the rival sort of like tape labeling machine by brother and, it, and same as in the sort of like a King Gem video it's basically the exact same thing. There is an app to run this tape labeling machine and what's interesting is that if you start like shooting with a lot of like digital cameras or any kind of like film cameras, you might get lots of film negatives back. And in order to organize, you need some kind of indication of what that, you know, film was. So I basically use this sort of like tape labeling machine to sort of like label sort of like the specific like location, what I shot around that area and maybe the dates and stuff like that and at the same time if you shoot with digital you can also label your batteries your sd cards and all your you know peripherals and it's like one of those essential things when you're organizing film stuff and digital equipments and this one actually works really well in my opinion and you and it uses sort of like triple a batteries and along with that it uses sort of like a tape cassette which you need to replace once it runs out and yeah, it just works actually. And uh, I should actually allocate some time on making a video on that, unfortunately. But yeah, basically sort of like labeled my stuff, my film actually, so I know what I shot and sort of like wanted to organize my sort of like digital equipments for my YouTube channel and yeah. And basically after I sort of like labeled everything that I use currently at the moment, I basically went back to my desk and basically scanned the sort of like the film that I'm going to be presenting next week, which is going to be Lomography's Turquoise actually. And I had issues like photo editing that because the film negatives have different color spectrums and it was like hard to sort of like edit. But yeah, I, it, that took a couple hours and basically my day ended there, unfortunately. And yeah, my day kind of ended without meeting anyone on New Year's, unfortunately. So that's how my sort of like New Year's started, actually. Build my PC, rebuild my PC, actually. Scan stuff, label stuff, and drink coffee, and have a good day, actually. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, if you have any questions or if you have any inquiries, I'm happy to reply. So yeah, happy New Year's. And how do you guys like sort of like spend your time during the holiday seasons? Leave it in the comments section below. I want to see what you guys do. Do you guys just sleep and become like a couch potato or do you <laughs> do you sort of like work, work or work? So yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out.